Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to grow that silly plant in container. I am going to update the video until harvesting. So if you want to know everything in a single video, please make sure to watch the full video. As you can see, this is a seedling and I am going to grow the seedling. But please also note that you can definitely grow the silly plants from the seeds as well. For the pot, I am going to use 12 inches of pot and I would recommend you to use at least 10 or even 12 inches of pot. Whatever pot you are taking, please make sure that it has at least one drainage hole and keep something on the drainage hole so that water can drain out well. As you can see, my pot is having one drainage hole and now I am going to keep some broken pieces of the clay pot so that water can drain out well. You can use any hard object and even you can use stone size well. For the potting soil mix, I am taking 40% of garden soil, 30% of cocoa peat. Instead of cocoa peat, you can also use reverse sun and other 30% of vermicompost. Now I am just going to mix all these components together and then I am going to fill the pot. While filling the pot, gently press the soil with your hand or any other tool to get rid of the air pockets. You can also tap the pot but please be bit careful if you are using clay pot. Please also make sure to keep a gap of at least 1 inches in between the top layer of the soil and surrounding the rim. And only this way you would be able to water your plant properly. As you can see everything is done and now it's time for transplanting. It's really very easy just making a hole in the center deep enough for the root ball and then I'm going to keep the plant in the center. Next I am pressing the soil very gently so that seedling gets support. And finally, the last thing, watering our plant. Now I am going to keep the pot on terrace and there it will be getting lots of sunlight. Now please keep watching and like I said you earlier, I am going to show you harvesting at the end of the video. Hey guys, updating the video almost after 15 days and this is how my plant looks. Today I am going to do the pinching process and that's why I just thought to update the video. Now you might be wondering like, why we should uh, pinch our plant? The answer is, if we do the pinching process, we can get a bushier plant instead of a leggier one. And to pinch the plant, I am just going to keep only four leaves on this plant and going to remove the top part. I am just using a sterilized blade and if you are wondering, you can just use hand sanitizer to uh, sterilize your blade or any other cutting items. So this is how my plant looks after the pinching and now please keep watching. Hey guys, updating the video almost after 131 days and today's date is 18 April 2019. So this is how my plant looks as you can see here lots of chilies and this is what I was expecting to show you at the end of the video. Please also note that if I wanted I could have ended the video much earlier but I did not do it because I wanted to show you how my plant is doing let's say after 120 days or even 131 days. So this is how it looks after 30 and 131 days and I believe you are liking the end result. Now let us discuss some very important things very quickly. See if you want to be successful at growing the chili plants in container you should do three different things properly. So the first important thing is sunlight. See you already know that I was keeping my pot on terrace and that's why they were getting the whole day of sunlight. So while growing that chili plants please try to provide the maximum amount of sunlight you can. Alright if they are not getting the enough sunlight you may find curly leaves on your plants. Please note that this thing happens because of lack of sunlight and yes there are many other reasons I, I mean I'm talking about the curly leaves on your chili plants and sunlight is one reason behind the curly leaves on your chili plants. The next important thing is fertilizing your plants at the right time. See I have already done one video showing how I fertilize my plants so please do check out that video I will put the link in the description box. By the way let me also tell you that you should fertilize your silly plants at least once in a 30 to 40 days or even after heavy fruiting. What I'm meaning is you can see that lots of chilies here right. So after harvesting all these 
chilies i should fertilize my plant so that it produces again lots of chilies and lots of blooms so that is the thing i mean you can keep on fertilizing your chili plants after heavy fruiting and then it would be keep on producing the chilies for you the last important thing is proper watering see i am going to talk a bit more here because it's related to one of the most common problem of chili plant which is curly leaves so the number one thing is while watering your plants you have to consider the current temperature in your place so you already know that i am keeping my pots on terrace and all these days a temperature in my place is above 25 degrees celsius on a consistent basis so i need to water them daily and, and if i don't do that i can see the wilted leaves on my plant immediately so that is the number one thing you have to consider see if it's hot in your place that time you may have to water your plant once in the morning and once in the evening in case if you are also keeping the pots on terrace however in the previous months or even the winter season let's say december or even january i did not have to water them that much and please make sure to water only that time when you can see that first one inches of soil is dry you can do a small finger test just dip your finger one inches deep in the soil and see whether the soil is dry or wet if the soil is dry and that time only water your plants and that is the thing that you need to follow in the winter season but in the summer season you can water your plants more to protect your plants from different kind of pest attack you can apply neem oil to apply neem oil it's really very easy just take near about 5 to 6 ml of neem oil take 4 ml of light hand wash just like savlon mix them into 1 liter of water and then spray your plants once in a 7 to 10 days and if neem oil is not working for you then you can use the chemical pesticide rogor and please be very very careful if you want to apply the rogor because all those chemical pesticides are poisons and to apply the rogor you can take 1 ml in 1 liter of water so guys this is all about how to grow that chili plants in container and i really hope you enjoyed the video if you found this video useful please don't forget to like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you very much for taking your valuable time to watch the video i really appreciate it and if you have any questions or feedback please use the comment box section thank you once again have a great day